Hi, John Marshall, Drill Master. This is uh, the Air Cadet uh, Squadron. Uh, I'm guessing Air Cadet uh, 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 Exhibition Drill Routine, really, of Hong Kong. Um, I was told in a message <clears throat> that that uh, they patterned their routine after the Queen's Color Squadron. Need a little more practice there. So this is a performance for National Day. <clears throat> uh, many, many countries have uh, a National Day. Uh, the, the founding of their, uh, their country. Commander, really should have your uh, heels together there. <clears throat> so I'm wondering if uh, their style of drill, again, uh, patterned after the... Uh, the Queen's Color Squadron. I'm I'm wondering if it is uh, <clears throat> if it requires the team to not use uh, exhibition style movement. Ah, I've written one of those moves before. That was a nice rotation there from uh, <clears throat> uh, really a tripod into a triangle. Really nice job. And it does look like there's a, a, a bit of a, a restriction. Since the, uh, the cadets here are only using... Uh, really Commonwealth uh, uh, drill movement. <coughs> So one of the things that uh, overseas performances, overseas drill teams do quite a bit of is march to music. And so uh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm used to judging musical ensembles. And so uh, marching bands, drum and bugle corps, even uh, indoor winter guards. So the, the movement then for those ensembles needs to <clears throat> well, I understand the intention of that movement. It just didn't work all that well as far as picking up. Yeah, actually, let's let's just go back and watch that one more time. Right there. So you can see the outside corners here start moving in and then picking up. And it just didn't it didn't work as well as it could have. I, I get the idea, and I like that. I, I really do. It just wasn't as uh, as solid. So uh, uh, when you start marching to music, <clears throat> a musical performance, and I haven't really addressed this, actually, um, if I remember correctly, um, the uh, the ensemble, the, the, the drill team, I'll I'll use military terms instead of the 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 terms um, 
that I was trained with, uh, the drill team then needs to to uh, create a form of uh, visual musicality. And what that means, and, and here the, the feet just aren't working well, uh, really at all. So it looks like the team needed, uh, maybe not the entire team, but uh, <clears throat> a few on the team needed uh, some more training. Ah, okay, fixing bayonets. That's what that was. Uh, visual musicality means that the uh, the drill design uh, reflects the music. So it's very difficult to march at an angle and keep your alignment. And so we could see that that, that didn't really happen all that well. Uh, the forms weren't held uh, the longer that the, uh, the cadets stayed in the forms. <clears throat> but to their credit, they did a, a, a fairly decent job, honestly. You know, it, it really would have been great to have the team execute the, the salute at the end of the music. And that's what I'm talking about, visual musicality. Um, as, the, uh, as the team had formed the two blocks and then marched through at the angle, uh, the music stopped. But then a, a bass drum kept going, uh, a bass drum beat. <clears throat> Understandable, you, you want to, uh, if you're if you're drilling two music and, and it sounds like it's just a recording and not really a, a, a live uh, a live band, then you you're going to have those those pauses in there unless you actually instead of cr taking pieces of music, just slamming them all together and then just letting the recording play, instead of that you actually then edit the music to continuously play throughout and then you design your drill to uh to the music which means that you have to have really careful music selection and then you have to think of the phrasing throughout the uh throughout each piece of music in and <clears throat> most common for for many countries is to march to a, a march like a, a john philip sousa march uh, that would be the american version and other countries have used uh sousa's marches but also uh, uh there are other uh other people who have created marches all around the world, and they're used um, in uh, in many places. So, forty-five was that forty-five, maybe forty-six. I'm not sure. Tried to. Uh, Tried to see that there, but 
All right, so um, the <clears throat> uh, National Day performance for uh, some air cadets in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Uh, yeah, Air Cadets uh, Squadron. And I'm, I'm not sure exactly what uh, uh, all the, the letters up there at the corner mean, you know, the, the, the letters over there. But still, uh, it, it was a, a nice performance. And you could see that there's some training and, and uh, uh, practice that went in there probably need a little bit more but uh then again uh, also i would encourage uh, uh better visual musicality i'm not talking about getting into dance moves and and more dance like positions that's that's totally uh not uh, a military flavor at all and that's not what we want especially with commonwealth drill that's there's there's very uh, defined restrictions as far as that's concerned, but um, still there can be some some visual musicality in there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, this brief uh, uh, video and this performance. I did. Thanks.